Hi everyone, my name is Cynthia Henry and I am the librarian for the College of Human Sciences and today we're going to learn how to use proxy bookmarklet. Um, I'm going to show you in this video how to set up the bookmarklet in uh, different browsers. I will make sure that I put the timestamp on the video information. Um, let's talk about what a proxy bookmarklet will do. Um, it will allow you to use your web browser to um, go past the paywall um, if you're off campus. So if there is a journal article out there that you want to use or see and you can't see what it, uh, the full text of that item, you would be able to hit the bookmarklet and it would allow you to sign in with your e-rater and um, come on through so you could see the full text. So let's go ahead and start with Chrome. I'm going to open Chrome onto the proxy bookmarklet page, which is here. And I'm going to take this and drag and drop this into the bookmarklets page, a bookmark bar, which is up here, where you see I have lots of things here. So we'll just take that and then we'll drag that right up there. I'm going to put it in between uh, my folders and my first um, just generic uh, bookmark. And so I'm going to drop it. Then you're going to see it says TTU Libraries Proxy. And now I should be able to navigate to a page that is going to ask me to uh, sign in and I can use this button as the tool. So let me go ahead and do that. Okay, let's see if we can find an article where we need to use the proxy bookmarklet. I'm just going to look for research on fine motor skills and see if we can find something that I know will trigger that. I'm specifically looking for something from Wiley potentially. So let's see if we can see that quickly. Oh, here's one. Okay, so I, if I was just looking for information on this and I clicked this and I hadn't started at the library, when I went to get the PDF here, it would tell me that I cannot have that. But I know that we were subscribed to this so now I'm just going to click this. It's going to ask me to sign in. And it will redirect me so that I can see the full text. And here it is already downloaded for me. And I could save that or print that. Um, however, I'm going to store this research. So that's how you use um, the bookmarklet um, with Chrome. Now we're in uh, Firefox on the proxy bookmarklet. So I'm going to use this and it tells you what you need to be doing. Right click the link, then select the bookmark this link. So I'm going to right click that with my mouse and I say bookmark this link. And you're going to see it up here in the bookmarks uh, row. And we'll click on that and then it will tell me what it's going to name it and what folder it's going to put it in or if I wanted to change that I could just put it on the toolbar where I think I'm going to put it and it's right here at the end now and so I'm going to save that and we can use it. Okay let's just give this a, a search in uh, Firefox here, we'll do the same search, fine motor skills, and let's look for the Wiley article. So it's going to think that we are not on campus, which we're not, and we'll have to sign in. So we need to click the TTU Libraries Proxy. We're going to sign in. Don't save. I never save it just because I want to not have it stored in my browsers. So then here is the article again, and that's how you would do it in Firefox. 
since I'm on a PC, I will not be able to show the Safari browser. Um, it has the same steps as Chrome. So I'm going to direct you back to the Chrome timestamp. Okay, here we are ready to do the Edge one. Um, the Edge is a little bit more complicated, but I'm going to walk you right th straight through it. We're going to follow these four steps that are listed here. We're going to click on the star here. We're going to click Add. Then you're going to see it move an animation over to the star menu. Then you're going to see that uh, the proxy bookmarklet is here. Since it already has the double T here, we're going to rename it to just Libraries Proxy Bookmarklet. So we can use the same language mostly. So I right click on that and I rename. And then just make sure you take out what you don't want here. And I'm going to put the word library here. Libraries. And then click here. Now we're going to make sure we copy this language here. Um, and I'm just going to right click and click copy. And then I'm going to go back over here and right click again and hit edit URL with my left click. Now I'm going to drop in the code and I can see that the code is in there. And I'm going to hit enter and that will save that. And you can hover over it and you can see that the code is there. And you need to make sure that that is correct, so that the code is there and not the still the link that we first added to it. Then I'm going to go ahead and close this up by clicking out here. And let's do some searching. Uh, we'll go ahead and do our same search that we did. I'm going to use the browser bar because um, it'll search Google. I don't want to search in Bing, which is what would be searching here. So I'm going to do our same search that we've been doing. Uh, research, fine motor skills. We're looking again for the uh, Wiley Online article. Maybe that'll be on the page. Let's look at the top of the third page. Let's see. Okay, here it is. So I'm going to click on this. We know this triggers the um, e the proxy bookmarklet needing to be used if we're off campus, which we are. So I'm going to click on the PDF. We're going to see that it will not work. So it's told me I need to get access because it doesn't know that I'm part of TTU. If I go to my menu and click on this, it's going to trigger me into the eRater password. I'm going to sign in with my eRater password. And it's going to let me see the article. And now I can go ahead and save it or print it or do whatever I need to do with my research. So I hope this video has really helped you identify how to get your browser to work with our materials. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. My name again is Cynthia Henry. I'm the librarian for the College of Human Sciences. And um, my email is cynthia.henry at ttu.edu. Feel free to uh, email me if you, if you need to. Thank you so much.